Welcome. Let's discuss the idea of finding the area of any figure inside the coordinate plane using the shoelace method. For this example, let's consider a triangle where the coordinate points are located at negative 6, negative 1, 6, 3, and negative 3, 10. Let's place those points in the coordinate plane. Now let's connect those points. So the objective is to figure out how much area is inside this triangle. Let's start by talking about the setup for the shoelace method. First, we're going to choose one point in our figure. I'm going to choose point A. And then I'm going to be listing the X and the Y value in this point. I'm going to put negative 6 underneath A and negative 1 underneath A. So this is saying for the coordinate point of A, my X value is negative 6 and my y value, it's negative 1. Now let's move to the next coordinate point, going counterclockwise, which in this case, it's going to be b. So let's put down b. Underneath b, we're going to place the x value, which is 6, and then the y value, which is 3. And then from b, let's move on to the next coordinate point, which is going to be c, when we're going counterclockwise, and let's leave the x value with negative 3, and the y value, which is 10. But we always need to close the loop so if we started with A, we need to go back and list A again. Negative 6, negative 1. And now that we have listed these values in this very specific order, let's find the absolute value of an operation that we're about to do in a second. And whatever value we get from that operation, we're going to multiply times 1 half. And when we perform this very specific operation that we're about to do in a second, we're always guaranteed to have the area of the figure. Now let's talk about the operation that we'll be doing inside the absolute value. We're going to get the y value in our first point, and we're going to multiply it in a diagonal way with 6. When we multiply those two values, that is negative 6. And then we're going to do it with the next set. Let's get the y value of b, and let's multiply it in a diagonal way, going upwards with negative 3. That is equivalent to negative 9. And then let's do the same with the next value. Let's get 10 and multiply it diagonally with negative 6. That would be negative 60. And whatever result we get from there, we're always going to subtract it. And what we're going to subtract, it is a multiplication of the opposite direction. Now we're going to get the value of negative 6, and we're going to multiply it diagonally in a negative direction, which in this case is positive 3. That's going to give us negative 18. Now let's do the same with the following value, 6. Let's multiply it diagonally with 10. That will be positive 60. Let me move this value a little bit to the left. And now let's get the next x value and multiply it diagonally. That's going to give us positive 3. And don't forget that we always need to multiply this procedure times 1 half. And this procedure is what we call the shoelace method. Because notice that when we were multiplying in a positive direction diagonally, in a negative direction, diagonally, it kind of looks like you're tying your shoelaces. So now let's simplify our result. When we get negative 6, and we subtract 9, and we subtract 60, we get negative 75. Now let's bring down the minus. And when we combine those values in red, that's going to give us 45. Now, if we combine the numbers inside the absolute value, we're going to get negative 120. The absolute value, it's always positive, so we're going to get positive 120. And 120 times 1 half is 60. So what we have concluded, that if we find the area inside this triangle, that area is going to be equivalent to 16 units square. The reason why I decided to call it centimeters is because I'm going to assume that the distance from one point to the other was all given in centimeters. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 